Hello everyone, welcome back to iRender. In this video, we're going to render a 3DS Max project with the FStorm renderer. The project will be rendered on the 6RTX3090 server of iRender. We first upload data to GPU HubSync to transfer data to the remote server. All files we upload will be in the Z drive of the remote server. Now we access the iRender console. Here we create a server image with 6 RTX 3090 GPUs. Notice that we need to set up the server image for the first time only, as it will be saved and reusable. We then boot the server image, it may take 5 to 10 minutes. Once the image is booted successfully, download the remote desktop connection file by clicking the connect button. Enter the credentials to connect to the remote server. We're on the remote server. Please keep in mind that XRZ drive is just a network drive. However, it's optimal to work everything on hard drives, like C drive or desktop to prevent the project from being crashed. So, copy data to desktop before opening it. Now, we need to set up 3DS Max software. Copy the installer of 3DS Max 2020 from X drive to desktop, then install it. Next. Copy the project from Z drive to desktop. Open the project. We already set up the 3DS Max project to render with FStorm Renderer using 6 RTX 3090s. OK, now click to render. Remember to set the output path should be in the C drive as well, to avoid getting corrupted. When the rendering process is complete, move the result to Z drive to sync with GPU hub sync. We then shut down the remote server in the iRender console. The final step is just to open the GPU hub sync and download the result to the personal computer. To sum up, we rendered a 3DS Max project with FStorm Renderer on the 6RTX 3090 server. The total render time is 2 minutes, sampling is 10,000, the image size is 2,400 pixels for the width, 1,600 pixels for the height. That's it for the video today. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next video. I render. Happy rendering. Happy training.